Ladies and gents, this is the moment you've waited for. Whoa! This is the greatest show! And now, here's your host, Clint Arthur. All right, all right, all right, everybody. This is Clint Arthur, and welcome to the greatest show of all time right here on 77 WABC Radio in New York City. If you are an entrepreneur, an expert, an author, speaker, coach, a consultant, advisor, anybody who's got skin in the game, you're already successful. You're living in New York City. You're rocking it, living the dream. But if you want to be more, do more, and have more impact, influence, and income, that's what this show is all about. And this is a special edition of the show. I'm bringing on some of my favorite people. These are my students, my clients, the people I respect the most because they are committed to changing and becoming more and doing more and having more. They're really committed. And that's why they've been working with me now, some of them for years. And here's one who I really, really, I, I'm just in awe of every single time I connect with her and see her and I'm in her presence. Baroness Angelica, thank you so much for being here on The Greatest Show of All Time. It's absolutely my honor and my pleasure to be here. This is the second time and I, I feel that this is my place. Ooh, and what would what do you have to share with the lucky people today, Baroness? Yeah, it's not a sad story. <laughs> it's hopefully a fun story. So I come from old, good Germany, um, but I followed my soulmate to the Bahamas. So almost 40 years ago, I moved to the Bahamas. It was a culture shock. And the first time I went to the fish and fruit market, because I said, I, I, want to, I, I want to do a Bahamian dish. And I knew about conch salad. I knew that conch salad was very famous in the Bahamas. So there this big, dark man sat, bright face. And then he saw me coming, and he opened his mouth wide. And I see that golden tooth with that sparkly diamond in it. <laughs> and he looked at me, and he said, hi, gorgeous. Hi, sexy. I blushed because I wasn't used to that kind of language <laughs> back home. So, um, but I was brave, so I approached him and I said, I want to buy some Kong. And he said, what do you know about Kong? And I said, well, I know Kong salad. I said, okay, let me show you something, sweetheart. <laughs> so he has that Kong shell and he pulls out that fleshy, big, fleshy conch, right? I mean, the, the, the actual body of, of the conch. And then he digs his fingers inside and pulls out what was like a jelly string. He holds it up high. He opens his mouth and slurps it in. I said, wow, what was that? And he said, yeah, this is what makes men, men. I am 65 and I can father still dozens of children <laughs> <laughs> so he uh, and, and then he said you need you, you want to take this and I said yeah can you cut it up for me he said no 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 you try it try it yourself so he puts this thing into a little plastic bag and hands it to me I take it home I put it on a cutting board in my kitchen I take the sharpest knife and I cut the first cut into the flesh and it moves it uh, shrinks together and it jumps a little bit i said wow i scream and i run out of the kitchen i said it's alive it's alive <laughs> of course i didn't know that that means it's fresh it needs to do that but that was the last time i tried to do conch salad what happened to the conch? Did you make the conch salad? I what let, happened? I let my husband fin finish the job. <laughs> and what did he do? How do you make conch salad? You cut it. Uh, you, you just um, disregard the moving parts <laughs> and keep on cutting small pieces. And then what actually kills the, uh, the conch is the lime juice. Salt, lime juice, uh, lots of pepper, some um, uh, on onion and uh, a tomato and yeah, that's basically it. And uh, it's delicious. It's delicious. And it is an aphrodisiac. 
Okay, so your husband makes all the conch salad. Now, I know that in addition to being great at making conch salad, he's also a very successful attorney That's in the correct. Bahamas. Yes. And uh, I believe that is in no small measure due to you and the fact that you're a sophisticated lady and you know how to be the woman behind the man. Talk about that. Yes. Well, he comes from a well-known family. Actually, his first cousin used to be a prime minister of the United States. Oh. Of the Bahamas. Of Bahamas. Yes. Mm -hmm. And, um, well, he he's a big shot in a small ball, and I had to be uh, at his side, and I loved it to represent him. And he, he, yes, he profited from that. And then I was the island woman that I had to grow into that could dance on the streets to junk and new music. So, what uh, kind of music? Junkanoo in the Bahamas, it's called Junkanoo. Junkanoo music. They are, they are they have the drums and the, the whistles and the uh, yeah, it's it's very uh, tribal. And I believe that a woman has a tribal part of her, and that really came out in me. And I developed that, which I could have never developed back in Germany. So at slipping from the elegant, sophisticated, aristocratic lady uh, into the, the island girl was actually fun. And, and I had a lot of fun also with, with the kids. But then there came the moment where the children were out of the house. I had five children. And, and all of a sudden, it wasn't so much fun anymore. Also, what I did not like, never liked, but that was the culture, is that in the Bahamas, it's very male-oriented. So I was called Mrs. Brentford Christie. Mrs. Brentford Christie. I was Baroness Angelica. Mm. But people then just, I said, I'm Mrs. Christie. If you cannot say Angelica, just say Mrs. Christie. I'm not Mrs. Brentford Christie. Baroness, how do people find out more information about, uh, how, do they, how do they find out more about all of your appeal? Because I went through all of this, my mission is to free women out of that inner prison of that they feel they don't have royalty. They have royalty. Baronessangelica.com? That's correct. Baronessangelica.com. Thank you so much for joining me on The Greatest Show of All Time. 